Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to delete your Uber account. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on the Uber app and on the Uber website. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. First and foremost, I'm going to show you how to do this on the app. So you're first going to launch your Uber app. You're going to select your account in the bottom right corner and you're going to go into settings. From this page, we want to go into the privacy center. So we'll select on privacy and we're going to scroll down to account deletion here. So when we select this, it's going to first ask us to verify our identity. Once we verify that, it's going to immediately delete our account for us. So we're going to go to the Uber website here and we're going to sign in with our number or email, or we can sign in with um, Google or Apple. Once you're logged in on the website, you're going to go up to the top right corner and select the three horizontal lines. Then you're going to select settings here. And then we'll select privacy. Once again, we'll scroll down. So we're going to scroll down to the data retention and deletion, and we're going to be provided with a few different links. So we're going to select on this first one here, riders and order recipients here. Um, and this is going to take us um, to this page where we can delete my Uber account. When we select this, it's just going to bring us back to this verification page where all we have to do is verify our identity and our account will be, will be deleted right away. So what will happen is after you verify your identity, um, your account is going to be deactivated and after a 30 day wait period, it's going to be permanently deleted. A commonly asked question is if you can make a new Uber account after you've deleted yours. Um, and the answer is yes. So if you've, if you've already waited that 30 day period and your account has been permanently deleted, you can go back into Uber um, and create a new account. The only catch is that you have to use a different email and a different phone number. If you have a history of negative feedback and ratings, um, this could affect your second Uber account. And it could affect your ability to use the service again. So do keep that in mind. And if you have deactivated your account and you change your mind and would like to reactivate it, you can restore that um, previous account by simply logging back in and it'll be reactivated and it's ready to use for you again. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found all this information helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.